News Leader. Welcome back. Turns out Jesse's an awesome banjo player who's just shy, <laughs> so we're not going to get to see him do well, that. Well, stage yeah, that, right. That's me, shy. Yeah. Yeah. That, that Usually when people are describing me, that's one of the when things. When I think Jesse Miller, I think shy. We shy, had quite right. the show Quiet. during the break, though. So you've got uh, an instrument that's more my speed. And what'd you call this? I thought it looked like a boo boo's whale from over there. Okay. But it's... It's not. Clearly not. It's so. a whistling tube. I don't know. What, I don't know if it has a specific name for it. But it's a very interesting um, uh, instrument. Simple instrument uh, that you know, like a drum is a simple instrument. You just bang it. This is also yeah. a simple instrument uh, because it doesn't take much in order to make it sing. As a matter of fact, you, all you have to do is just. I don't know if that came up over the the mics or anything. Yeah, but, I think it did. Yeah. But uh, it, it just by spinning it causes it to right. sound out. Now. The reason why that goes, all these, in this little piece, piece of plastic, uh, the corrugation is the important thing. So if you just have a tube, okay, just a plain plastic tube, and you speak, spin it all day long, and it's probably not going to make a whistling sound. Mm -hmm. It might through just going through the air, you might mm -hmm. hear something. But what gives it that, makes it sound out, and you can do this with like any big tube that's corrugated, but it needs to be corrugated on the inside, like a vacuum tube is smooth on the inside. Well, I, was, I always thought it was the same principle as blowing across the top of a soda bottle. I was just going to say and, that. And it yeah. is. It is. And what, what you need to do soda is... Soda bottles aren't corrugated. I talked about before that... No, it's not. Okay. And we'll get to that. But All right. <laughs> um, it, in order to make this tube work, it needs to be corrugated. Okay. And the reason why is because you need to create these vibrations. And I said the sound is caused by vibrations right. in our eardrums uh, adapting to that. So what, if you just blew through this tube, if you just moved air through this tube, you wouldn't hear anything. It wouldn't do anything. But when I spin it, well, actually, if you blew through this, this tube, it would. If a regular tube, it probably wouldn't. What we're doing when we're spinning is centrifugal, centrifugal force, centripetal force, actually, is causing the air to... You gotta wait. We're gonna find the rest of this out in just a couple of minutes on WCIX. See, you got all spinny tubey there on us. Hey, change the channel. Jump over to WCIX 49. We'll hear more from Jesse in Chemist Corner, which is all about music on The Morning Show.